kind of tying into what you said before about your opinion, Bella, that you think a lot of the progress that is needed within the black community is going to depend upon the collective responsibility of black women and them and them making a difference as far as their behavior as far as different things that they should do now mm-hmm. and you also alluded to the fact that this would take some time so my question mm-hmm. is while it, if that's if that's true right and it's going to take some time whether that's a couple of years decades or whatever for mm-hmm. women to get it together in the states right do you mm-hmm. think men should in the meantime go grab their passports and find women who are already ready are already in line are already you know there and looking for a, a woman who is there do you think that that's a good option for them yes i do i can't blame a man for wanting t- to grab his passport and, and and going to somewhere where there are more women like us who are single and ready i, I can't blame them um these men are clearly ready if 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 you know we see it on these different platforms i mean it's it's honestly as sb mentioned and as we all talk about it's honestly just a matter of women taking accountability for our own issues and our relationships and our personal life to cause the change and in the meantime if men want to go and get your woman from another country by all means because there are still going to be uh you know generations of black men who are going to come after them or just younger you know young men who are going to come after them and hopefully you know as you know things change that's when maybe our men may not feel like they need to but at the end of the day i, I can't blame passport bros for for doing their thing i really can't can i pick it back on something she said yeah sure um bella you you are right and i can't i don't care either but a woman is a woman and a feminist movement is moving <laughs> So I could tell passport bros and whoever to be very careful. But the the number of a black man, it is near extinction. So when you, you say Ameri- you're talking about in America, because I know in Africa they having tons of kids. No, in the US. Okay. So <laughs> but, okay. but so as we're mixing, as we're mixing, okay, you yeah, know, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then we have alternative lifestyles and we have in prison. And then y'all also know that they are coming up with so many different things to have babies now. So um, I, too, don't care where a man finds love. I think, you know, just be careful because I do kind of think women are women, y'all. But I understand your culture is your culture. So they just need to be careful. But if they find a woman that loves them and care for them, grab up, have some babies. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. What do you think, Lady Di? Should black men grab their passports? Um, <clears throat> yes, I don't uh, think that it's a problem. I would just say that it's dangerous, though, because they're going over there taking other men's women. So um, <laughs> there are men over there, too. So, you know, it's kind of like a competition situation that would just naturally happen because they're going over there in a different space that's not theirs. But um, at the same time, um, I, I, I don't feel that men should stop finding love if they have to find it somewhere where they feel that they're accepted by all means go and do that because if they're you know the the trend today is the modern woman and the 50 50 and you know the feminist uh that's kind of like a a majority situation that we've noticed so if you can't look in between the crowd to find that great traditional woman or whatever woman that you're seeking if you got to go over there to find it, there's nothing wrong with it. One, because there are women over there who are uh, that were raised to be, um, let's say, the submissive type of woman. Women here, they're not even being raised. Majority of them, they're being raised by social media and, you know, at school with their friends, because that's just what we have here. A lot of women are single mothers by choice. This, this is what it is here. So unfortunately, the women here could be wives. Yeah, they could be great wives, but they're not even being raised to be women. First of all, they're raised to be men. And then with all of that being said, you, it's going to be hard. So I get that. And who has patience? Men are getting older. Yes, men can have kids when they're older, but it's not like that should be the only option. What if a man wants to get married at 25? He can't get married because the women around him are not um, traditional enough. So if, if you feel you're wasting your time in this space, 
Go and go get what you need because time is going and it should not be wasted in that way. I hear you. No, I hear you. I mean, I don't think, and this is, this is generally across the board. People that I found who are actually happily married or happy in their lives and relationships don't really care if other people, what other people need to do to find <laughs> happiness themselves. They don't. They're like, yeah, if you got to go, that's fine. If you got to go matchmaker or whatever, like it's not a big deal. A lot of no. people, honestly, I hear who are who are mad over this whole concept or just like actively opposing it. I have to question how happy they are in their own life. If I'm just being honest, apart now, apart from the toxic rhetoric, there is toxic rhetoric going out there. But that's just black YouTube, black social media. Period. You find toxic stuff on both sides. But just the overall idea of a man being a man and trying to find somebody that's the best for him. I'm like, why would anybody be opposed to that? That's weird. Oops. I want to say something to the chat. Um, I've seen somebody say no one is a single mother by choice. Um, there's literally women who are that's trying right. to literally, so friends <laughs> or a situation where they don't want the man present. They're purposely choosing that. And Just Google it. There's a video. Yes. Yeah, I saw that actually. I saw that in TikTok where she yeah, that's a video talked about why she chose to be single woman by choice.